<laughs> what's going on drama dog gang and it's your girl Jermaine Keen and I'm back at it with another freaking video so in today's video I'm gonna be showing y'all how to apply well how I hold on let me put my chair down because that's a little bit better Valentino go let me do my video you messing up my flow honey you messing up my flow so I'm gonna be showing y'all how I apply my strip lashes um for starters, I am going to be using the Nasty 19 lashes from DK4 Beauty. They just come in a cute little thing like this with my logo on them. These are available for purchase on my website, so make sure you click the link down. Get the fuck down, dog. Get down. Get out. Get out. Go. 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 These are now available on my website, so make sure you click the link down below in my description box and you shop the website and get your orders, okay? So, and I also have two other styles as well. So, I have Nasty 19, and then I also have Bad Bitch, and then I also have Trini Queen. Nasty 19s are actually my favorite right now because they have like a double layer effect to them. Y'all, please excuse this. I got some eyeliner on the side of my makeup and I was not trying to go through and redo this whole makeup situation but this is how the strip looks if you can see from the side it has like a double I'm turning to this side it has like a double layer effect so it's very voluminous so super cute and it gives you that china doll eye that you that we all like these are actually the eyelashes that I have been wearing in my last two videos that I have posted for you guys um the f are you eating? Hey, go lay down. Good boy. And stop chewing on stuff. Might be my other lash that you're chewing on. <laughs> um, I have been wearing these lashes from my last two videos. Now, this video might be a little short and simple and easy, but get down. <laughs> we about to get right on into the video. <laughs> So for starters, um, when you get your eyelashes, you just want to put them up to your eye and measure how far your inner corner of your eyelash. You want to measure how far the in. inner corner of your eyelash and the outer corner of your eyelashes, and that's where you want to cut your eyelash at. Now, I usually will cut the eyelash at the inner corner because these are very. The band on this is very long. I'm so sorry, my dog is so annoying. The band on this is very. <laughs> Okay. The band on this is very uh, long. I need to hurry up and put on these lashes because I'm looking real funny. Okay. So now that I have measured my eyelash and everything and it's already pre-cut. Um, here's the lash. It's already pre-cut. Uh, Y'all can see it a lot better right here actually. And I'm about to use a little bit of eyelash. No. They actually sell eyelash glue inside of a hair glue container right now. But um, I'm going to just use some hair glue for right now. Thumbnail. Hold on. Let me try to get a good thumb now. Alright. Now, really quick, if y'all notice, I did heal. Um, I'm starting to have a real bad stuttering problem. I need to start slowing down when I'm talking. Okay. Now, my eyelashes are very curly. Depending on the lash style that I wear, if I have, like, my Nicole Mink lashes, I do typically put those under my lash line because my eyelashes are so curly. But for these, I like to put these up on top. So, I'm just open. I dropped those tweezers, but I have some more. I'm going to just open my lash glue, and then I'm going to go in on the side of the lash bottle. I'm in the glue bottle like this, and take a little bit of glue, about that much. Now, I'm going to go on the bands of I'm going to go on the bands of my um, strip lashes and then I'm going to just apply the glue in a thin layer from top to end 
And then I'm just wipe the excess glue off on the bottle. Typically, I wipe it off on the back of my hand, but I'm trying not to get too messy today. Now that I have that, I'm going to actually wipe some of the glue off on the band. Because it's a little too much. And then I'm going to wipe the excess on the back of my hand. Don't worry if you put it on the back of your hand like this. It just roll right off of your skin. I promise. Now, I'm going to take my lash like this. I'm going to take my eyelash. And then, if y'all can see, I already have one. I'm trying to get the focus. I already have one eyeliner. Um, so that way it's easier for me to just apply my strip. I actually already did my makeup prior to me recording this video. And I have my mirror right here. And I'm going to just take my eyelash and I'm going to sit it right on top of my lash line. Okay. So it should look like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect the pieces like the end pieces. So then it should look like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my fingers. And I'm going to kind of smush the band down a little bit. Hold on, my end corner is coming up. You can smush your band down. Now, the reason that I sometimes put my eyelash strips on underneath my lash line is because my lashes are so curly. And sometimes it is very hard for me to apply my lashes. And make sure you have enough glue on it because if you don't have enough glue on it, it's not going to stay. And I think I might have wiped off too much glue. I think I did, actually. Yeah. Let me put a little bit more glue on to... Let me put a little bit more glue onto the bottom of this lash and then I'm going to try this again. What an epic fail. I'm trying to show y'all how to put on a dang old lash and it look like y'all don't know how to put on one, right? I promise y'all I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm no Aaliyah J at this, but I'm pretty damn good. Alright, one more time. Just going to place it right in the center right here. And then connect these end points. You know, it's just going to line everything up. Now, this one is on right. I feel it sticking. And boom, you have a lash. Now, you can either take your tweezers or you can take your fingers and smush it down. Now, once you're smushing it down, you're just smushing the lash band close. <laughs> now, if you can see right here on my lash line, um, I have a lot of excess powder from my makeup. So, that's why some people like to go under and put mascara on right there. But, I'm going to just take my fingers and I'm going to smush these bad boys down. Like so. And when I do this, I just like to look down. So I'm smushing them together so it's no like in between. And then, boom. You can barely even see the makeup. I have no idea who that is calling me. So that's eyelash number one. And then I like to just take it sometime and fluff it up in the middle because I like it to show in the middle. Or if you have an eyelash curler, you can do that as well. I actually did my fan, um, my wing eyeliner out a little bit too far today. So then I'm going to just take the end corner and just kind of pull them outwards. Like that. Boom. Now I got a cute little cat eye. Lashes versus no lashes. Um, I actually might want to take retake another thumbnail. Taking the lash glue and applying it to the lash band like so. This time, I'm going to just leave all of the lash glue that I use on this band. Um, now, I will say this. You got, you can clean your lash bands. When it comes to meat lashes, you want to be very careful because the lash band is actually super, super thin. And you don't want to tear up the lashes. So, But by the time I take these off, it'll be time for me to clean them. You can use these lashes up to 23 uses. Um, with the proper amount of care. You can also soak your lashes in hot water. And then the glue will just automatically come from off of the lash band. Same concept. Different eye. Okay. So I'm just going to take 
And my eyelashes are super duper curly. Take my eyelashes and stick it right in the middle right there. And then just boom. And then boom. That one went on a little bit better because I didn't um remove any of the glue from it that time. Y'all, my dog is a crybaby. Boom. Now, you see how you can see this one a little bit more? It it all depends on how you put your lash on. So what I'm going to do is go through and I'm going to kind of smush it out. And push it together like I did the other eye. And now it looks about the same. Boom. These eyelashes are perfect for when you are really not trying to wear like eyeshadow and you just want to <clears throat> and you want to give yourself that cute foreign look. Um, so really when you're not trying to wear eyeshadow and you want to give yourself that cute foreign look, these eyelashes are perfect for that. Honestly, I'm so upset that I got some mascara right there, but it's okay. Um... I still love these lashes. These are some of my favorite lashes. And these are some of my favorite lashes. They just give me like that cute doll effect. Um, I'm going to probably go underneath my eyeline and add a little bit of color. But I'm actually, I don't know, I might just keep it nice and simple today. Yeah, I'm probably just keep it nice and simple today. So that's so, um, I'm losing my words to say, but I hope y'all are enjoying this video. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom out somewhere. So this concludes today's video. It is Vlogmas day number five, y'all. And we have 20 more days till Christmas, and I have about 25 more days till um, my move out date, and I am, I'm nervous, y'all, it's boiling down to the, to the ends of the year, this is crazy, y'all, help me, go ahead and help me get to my thousand subscribers and all my watch time that I need before we pull into 2020, okay, make sure you subscribe to this video, make sure you leave a comment down below, if you have a YouTube channel, I would like to support your YouTube channel, and I want to start a community here on my channel from now on out, and, um, go ahead and give yourself a shout out down below in the comments, put your YouTube name, put what your channel is about, um, <clears throat> if you're trying to build your platform on Instagram, go ahead and drop your Instagram name down below. You guys can follow me on my Instagram, and I'll put it right here, at Dramatic Key, and I'll make sure to follow you guys back. And yeah, go ahead and get this video. Huge sub, sub, somebody is knocking on the door, and they pissing me off already. So I gotta go, y'all, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!